The next thing I'm going to do is connect electricals. Switch up, down, or other way around. So to remove the fascia, grab it firmly, little wriggle, and then on the switch, oops, uh, there is a little lug here and a little lug there. So you just put a screwdriver in, place the lug, and switch comes out. And that's the casing. So we can fix the casing on the wall and then we can connect the switch. Uh, before I fix it to the wall, I don't know if it can be seen with a little outline for the cable on both ends. I'm just gonna break it off with long nose pliers. Hopefully we'll break off nice and neat. Same there. I'll actually help it with, with a Stanley knife. Before someone starts jumping around, yes it is Stanley, so I can call it Stanley knife. Be careful when you're doing any of these things. And the blood stains everywhere. A nightmare to clean. Right, uh, the battery also died, so I had to wait a little bit. Um, now, electrical connections 240 volts. Life, neutral, and earth coming in. Uh, obviously, fused. Now, coming from the switch to the motor, we got ah, come on. These four wires, obviously, yellow and green is earth. Blue will be neutral, and brown and black are lives, switch lives. So there will be, it's much easier to explain it this way. So if you put life here, one switch life goes there, other switch life goes here. Neutral, switch neutral, switch neutral. Now we have going to the motor, two switch life wires, brown say and black and then one blue. So we'll have to make a loop to other side as well. So we can share single neutral going back to the motor. So life, neutral, brown, black, blue, loop into there. If it makes sense. I'll say again. Life and neutral in. Or feed. Then black, brown, blue. And then loop with the blue into there. Right, let's see this now. So obviously earth has been linked outside of the switch. So come on. Right, there you go. <laughs> so we got life and neutral in. One switch life black is here, other switch life brown, it's underneath there. There it is. So one switch life, another switch life underneath there. Then switch neutral comes to one side and then the other one loops up to the other side of the switch. Alright, it's connected on the other side. 
so I have to be careful with the back of this switch, it's life. So up and it goes up. Let's surprise the cut. Alright, okay. The limiter set out, so I go up, stops very low, so I need to do limiters. There's one there, red and white, one is for up, one is for down. So the adjuster on the right for left hand side motor is the up and the left one is for down. So I'm going to hold the up button pressed and I'll, and I'll turn this little adjusting tool until Until it comes to desired height. I never had them this much out of my so I'll keep it about one slot on the guide. So if I press go down. Adjusting to the left hand side. This is me now stopping it. I'm just trying it. Turning, 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 turning. Clockwise, it's a minus, and clockwise is a plus. I think I've been doing it the wrong way around. So much out of flying. Clockwise, Thank you. 
pressed it. So that's what happens with white UPVC when hanging around aluminium levels. And Solvent cleaner to sort that out tomorrow. And here we are, following morning, couldn't take any decent videos or photos last night because it got too dark so this is how it looks from inside when it's closed when it's shut and how this is how it looks from outside just like a regular garage door but I think it matches the structure nicely <laughs> 